In this video, mommies, I'm going to walk you through kung anong pwede mong ma-expect after mong manganak, siguro dun sa first few weeks ng panganganak mo. And my purpose for this video, mommies, is to empower you and to encourage you to love your motherhood despite yung mga challenges that you may encounter as a first-time mom katulad ko. Number one, the moment na nahawakan mo na si baby is a very empowering experience. Yung feeling na you were able to raise a life inside of you and finally, you are holding that person that you're going to call your own flesh and blood. Ganun. And by the time na nahawakan mo na si baby, nag skin to skin na kayo, narinig mo na yung iyak niya, totoo yung sinasabi nila mommies na makakalimutan mo lahat ng pinagdaanan mo. Yung feeling na fresh start. Yung feeling na ang sarap maging mommy. And my advice to you mommy is to hold on to that feeling and let it be your drive all the way. And after skin to skin, you will be given a chance to recover and then finally, makakasama muna si baby. First challenge, breastfeeding. But don't worry, mommy, pareho kayong first time ni baby dito. So, just take your time. Give yourself time, but do not doubt your body, mommy, dahil your body is capable of breastfeeding your baby. It's just that the first few days ng pag-breastfeed mo, kolostrum pa lang yung lumalabas, kaya parang ang konti pa lang. My advice is, be patient, mommy, and trust in your body. Tama yung sinabi nila. Sa motherhood, patience is a virtue. But again, just like I said, don't worry, just take your time. Because any moment, magagamay nyo rin yon ni baby. Do not worry, mommy, if iiyak ng iiyak si baby mo by the time na pinag-aaralan pa lang niya ang maglatch. Huwag ka matakot, mommy, na baka magutom si baby. Yung kolostrum mo is enough para kay baby. And it has enough nutrients that will suffice the needs of your baby. Gusto ko lang ipaalala sa inyo mommies na breastfeeding can also be painful. Pero yung proper breathing na itinuro ko sa inyo is also very effective para ma-endure niyo 'yon. Actually, bilang mommy, you will be very surprised with yourself. Magugulat ka how much you can and you want to endure para sa anak mo. Number 3, mommies, pag iuwi mo na si baby is another challenge. Pero yung challenge na 'yon kakaiba kasi kung nung dalaga ka, konting bagay lang give up ka na. With motherhood, gugustuhin mong ibigay lahat ng bala mo, lahat ng makakaya mo, just to nail it. Pag inuwi mo na si baby, you will face another challenge besides dun sa challenging moment ng pag-aanpak ng sangkatutak na ipinak mo mommy sa hospital bag mo. Kaya sinasabi ko sa inyo, you have to pack light. Another big challenge that you will have is yung sleep. Nakaka-zombie talaga siya, mommy. Pero, yung puyat na yon yun yung puyat na vokal sa kalooban mo. But just a reminder, mommies, ha? Do not forget to give yourself some rest because you really need that. I'm sure you will learn the ropes kung papaano yung mga techniques, strategies para makakuha ka ng sleep mo at makatulog ng kahit na konti para makapag-recharge ka. One way para makapag-recharge ka, mommy, is sabayan mo si baby sa pagtulog niya. Remember that rest is very essential para sa iyo, mommy, for you to be able to perform well as a mother. Nakakatuwa kasi, magugulat ka na lang na bilang nanay, ang galing mong gumawa ng paraan, yung para-paraan talaga. Which brings me to number four. When you are finally settled, a few days after umuwi kayo ni baby mommy, you will finally realize the essence of time and why it is so precious na ikinompare pa ito sa gold. Kasi alam nyo, mommies, yung 30 minutes na paliligo ninyo, magugulat kayo 10 minutes, kaya nyong maligo. Sometimes even 5 minutes. Dahil while you are taking a bath, iniisip mo yung ano na kayo nangyari kay baby, you will really learn the essence of time. My advice sa inyo, mommy, is to have a routine. If you have to write it down, then you write it down so you can be productive and accomplish all the things that you need to do. Like, for example, wash the clothes, cook food, rest, bathe your baby, and ikaw para maasikaso mo rin yung sarili mo. Well, this is different from dun sa mga taong may kasama sila na pwede nilang mautusan. My advice sa inyong mga very uh, fortunate na meron kayong mauutusan, be grateful. Be grateful that you don't have to go through the challenge of 
super duper multitasking. Here's another reminder from me, mommy. Don't forget to include yourself dun sa routine na gagawin mo. Give yourself time to freshen up, to listen to uh, positive affirmations, time to rest, ganon. Number five, after the excitement died down, mommy, yung rushing hormones in your body after childbirth may start to kick in. You may start feeling tired, overwhelmed, emotional by the responsibilities of being a mother. Maiisip mo na, ang hirap pala talaga maging nanay. And this is where I would like to tell you, mommy, you have come this far. Nairaos mo ang labor and delivery mo. You did a very good job taking care of your baby during your pregnancy. And I am very proud of you that you were able to nail your labor and delivery experience. In this chapter of your motherhood, mommy, I would like to congratulate you. Congratulations dahil napakabuti mong mommy. Bilang first time mom ka, you did all that you can do to have a positive labor and delivery experience and you did all that you need to do for your baby to be very healthy and for you to be healthy as well while you are raising the life of your baby inside of you. So congratulations, mommy. You're doing a good job and you will do even better. Remember that those emotions will die down anytime soon. Do not dwell on those negative emotions, negative feelings, pagod, um, self-pity na nararamdaman mo. Never dwell on those. Dwell on the positive side of motherhood. Look at your child and tell yourself that you will do whatever it takes to raise this beautiful life the best way that you can. Remember this, mommy, you don't have to be a perfect mom. So don't be too hard on yourself, mommy. It's okay to take a little break and let those emotions get out. Umiyak ka and maybe sumigaw ka kung gusto mo. But never dwell on negativity. Always remember that lahat ng bagay kaya mong masurpass just like when you were able to surpass your labor and delivery experience. This is a whole new chapter of your life and you are going to do even better. Look forward sa milestones ng baby mo. Do what you have to do as a mother. Do it the best way that you can. You don't have to be perfect. You just do things with love and joy because you can never go wrong with it. Thank you, mommies, and have a good day.